Hey buddy, so we're gonna be trying something new out at your place. What do you got for us? A uh, spring, it's actually Spring Mill Distillery, but it's labeled as John Sleeman and Sons, cause that's basically who owns Spring Mill Distillery. And Sleeman's is a very popular, well, it's one of the most, it's one of the biggest beer brands um, in Canada. And it started off as being a little craft brewer that grew and grew and grew and now become a big thing. And John Sleeman and his sons, started off a, a distillery. And what's really cool, what they did really great on the back of this bottle was write a little bit of the story of the fact it's been 12 years making this happen and all the, all the stuff that they did. And when you read it, what you realize is they call it a traditional straight whiskey. It's American uh, white oak barrels. It's a bourbon. It's a bourbon, but they also talk about being Canadian grains. So what I'm curious is, is it kind of a bourbon finish, but is it like a high rye bourbon because of the Canadian grains? That's what I'm curious to so see. So you don't know what the mash bill is. I don't se. know what the mash bill is other than Canadian grains. Hmm. Well, the, the scary thing is, you know, I don't know if there's much difference in the corn grown in the U.S. or Canada because it's North America, we use pretty much 80% the same strain of corn. Right. Right. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what these guys have put together. And Steve, at the Empire Builders podcast, you guys have got an episode on John Sleeman's. We do. Listen. Yeah, we do. And, I, and I, I'm and i sorry, I should have looked up which episode number it is, but you could go to the empirebuilderspodcast.com, go to the blog section and type in Sleeman's and you'd be able to find the episode because it is one of my favorite stories is the one on Sleeman's Brewing. Like, I mean, it's crazy you really need to 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 check it out which is why when i was in guelph which is near sleeman's distillery i'm in the lcbo i saw this and i was like have to buy it all right. i have to buy it let's give it a sniff all right i'm not it doesn't smell like a bourbon it doesn't it smells actually more like a canadian whiskey doesn't it yep yeah a little bit of wheat interesting not not strong. It's definitely rye in here. Oh yeah. Yeah, because there's the little bit of Yeah, there's the rye influence. Interesting thing is that it does it it hits all three spots. Like it's got a start, it's got a middle, it's got a finish. Um, Boy, a really strong, I don't know about you, but a like the finish is still with me and it's vanilla. Mm. Like, 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 and I don't mean artificial, van like real vanilla and it is still hanging. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And on the beginning I got like honey, then caramel. And then like, as you say, it went to more of the vanilla as it finished. I'm getting more of the honey on the second sip. Honey, honey. Honey, now it's going. Bit. Wow, this really hangs, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So if you are somebody, it, it, this is more like a light whiskey. This is more like a light whiskey, like that Austin One Hundred and One. It fit, yeah. It's more like that that we. If you were doing a blind tasting on this, you wouldn't peg it as a bourbon. No. And well, you, you might because of the sweetness. This is a hard one. This would be. This would trick. This would trip a lot of people up. But if you like something that's sweeter. Mm -hmm. And if you like something that is long, right, and not is, and not too heavy, like there is not a lot of there's not a lot of tannins coming through. This has no. not got a lot of barrel in it. So if you like something that's no, I, I'd say it's this not smoky. No, it's not smoky. This is more like some of your Irish. It would be, yeah. Right? Except what I'm going to say, the one thing I find with a lot of more, Irish, more character than your traditional Canadian, more character than your traditional Canadian, a little bit longer hanging than most Irish. I think, yeah. And, and sweeter, and yeah. a little sweeter, but very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. Good job, John. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to John Sleeman. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for cooking this up, John. Cheers. Cheers.